Hey, Kirk and Wins coming at you, and we just started a Memorial holiday, and I hope everybody has a great holiday. And um, just appreciate you guys tuning in and checking out my videos, and I hope I have some books here that you are interested in looking at and hearing about, and um, hearing about me finding them. So uh, let's start it off with a little bit of action here. We have uh, Action Comics 440. The significance of this is that uh, this is the first time that Mike Grell gets his hands on Green Arrow. And he does the uh, Green Arrow story in the uh, back of the book. Um, Mike Grell is going to be appearing at the uh, Wizard Con here in Tulsa in November. So I've been a big Green Arrow fan since his start of Longbow Hunters and his run on Green Arrow. And I've been picking up Green Arrow for a long time, and I want to get books in the best condition possible for him to sign. I have a copy of this, not the best condition. I picked this one up for a couple of bucks, and I'm pretty happy with the condition. If I could find another one in a little bit better condition, I probably would, but um, I'm pretty happy with this one, so we'll stick with this for now. Um, next, we're going to have Action Comics 593 and 592. This book really lives up to its title here uh, in this particular couple of issues. This is the uh, issues where Big Barda and uh, Superman basically uh, make a porno or star in a porno. Um, I think John Byrne just kind of wanted to poke a little bit of fun at the virtue, virtuous Superman. So um, kind of a silly story, kind of fun. Um, check it out if you get a chance. House of Mystery number one. This is the uh, first appearance of iZombie. I was able to pick up a full run of this uh, House of Mystery, and uh, I was able to. This is actually my second copy, so this was cool to find. House of Mystery number one, Amazing Spider-Man 001. This is the Alex Ross variant. Um, I was able to pick this up at my local shop for cover price, so I'm very happy to have this beautiful cover. Todd, the ugliest kid in the earth, number one. I picked the complete run up. Complete. Excuse me, I picked up the complete run, as well as the early Scott Snyder Detective Comics from a friend at uh, my local shop, and so I got the complete run of this and that complete Detective Scott Snyder run for about 30 bucks, and he seemed to be happy with it, I was happy with it, so great deal, I appreciate it. Picked up some of the uh, Midtown Comics, Superior Spider-Man uh, Campbell variants, uh, number 31, number Amazing Spider-Man 1.1 Campbell variant. He just does some beautiful stuff. And Amazing Spider-Man 001. And then I also picked up a, the Harley Quinn number one. I'm really glad to have picked this up. <clears throat> I paid a little bit more than what I wanted to pay for it, but I didn't pay what a lot of people are asking for it. I wound up paying um, 15 bucks for it. So I, I am pretty happy with that. Beautiful condition to copy. Uh, Mercenaut mentioned this Captain America milestone. Uh, 1941, and I've been looking for it ever since. Finally, was able to turn one up at an online shop. They wanted a couple of bucks for it. Um, I picked that up from them, as well as an Avengers milestone number one from for a couple of bucks. So that was cool. All right, let me get another stack here. All right, some more uh, some books I picked up uh, at the DC Con, Dallas Comic Con. DC Con, Dallas Comic Con, um, was Imagine. These are from the same people that uh, produced uh, Star Reach, and they're just amazing books, uh, great artists, uh, just a plethora of different artists uh, work in this book, such as Neil Adams, Pete Craig Russell, and the list goes on and on. In the wild, I found it very hard to find these books. Um, I, I know I can pick them up off eBay. They are a little costly on eBay, so finding them there for a couple bucks is great. Issue four. Need to get these bagged and boarded. Issue three and issue one. I do have a number two, so at least I think I do. I had to double check. All right, Justice League of America, number 75. Uh, just a beautiful, uh, beautiful cover um, where Black Canary uh, enters the Justice League of America. I picked this up uh, from a gentleman for 40 bucks. I've seen it going on eBay in, in worse condition copies for a lot more, so really, really happy with this book. Nice condition. Uh, Superman Adventures, number five. This was uh, brought to my attention, I think, I think, to a lot of us from District 12 Comics. Check District 12 out. Check Mercenaut out. Uh, great videos. A lot of knowledge. Um, apparently, number four, now some people are trying to say that the ad in there is her first appearance. 
I really don't subscribe to that, but if they're happy with that, that's cool. Um, for me, I think number five is their first appearance. Um, very cool. Power Man Iron Fist, another book I need to um, contribute to Mercenot. Thanks for mentioning. Pick this up at a local shop. Brilliant copy. First Heroes for Hire. This is right there, First Heroes for Hire. All right, going back to the Dallas Con, picked up a couple of the Greg Horn GameStop variants. This is not the one that people were going crazy for on eBay before it's even released, but it's a really cool variant nonetheless, especially if you like Greg Horn. Um, you're able to pick up a couple of copies per visit, basically, or per day or something to that effect. So I picked up a couple, and I was satisfied with two of them. Actually, I probably just could have had one, I guess. Uh, Sandman number one by uh, Kirby. Been looking for this. Been trying to get it at a decent price. I started to actually, like a lot of people said, kind of go up in price. Um, the story in it, it's all right. It's not great, but it's Kirby. And uh, along with that, I picked up uh, Witching Hour number three. So total, it would have been 30 bucks, but the guy gave me a deal, actually, and I got it for 25 bucks. And this Witching Hour number three is really, really nice copy. He's got it a very fine. It probably... It's, yeah, it's pretty nice. I don't know. It could probably be fair fine minus if you ask me, but it's still a very nice copy. Early Witching Hour. Picked up a Silver Age book, Daring Adventures number nine. I this is the first time I've seen these books before, but I was really I really thought the cover was really cool. The monster not so much, but just this the drawing of this lady down here and the guy digging you can't really see him digging down there. I just I really enjoyed the art, so I wanted to pick it up and check it out. It looks like an interesting book. If anybody is if anybody does pick these up already, um, let me know if they're worth continuing to pick up. Uh, so far, I, I, I like this cover on this issue. Picked up a couple of Amazing Spider-Mans there for... Most of them were a buck apiece. Uh, this 359 was a buck. Um, this 344 was actually a couple bucks, but it's the first Cletus Cassidy who becomes Carnage. Um, it's it's kind of getting pricey as well, so if you can find it pretty cheap, I'd pick it up. This is a really nice copy. They need to get back and boarded. Uh, 360, kind of continuing in that storyline with Cardiac. Picked up a couple of uh, Saga Swamp Things. Picked up 14 and 15. This is 15 here. The um, reason I picked these up is I think I already have these, but uh, Scott Hampton and Bo Hampton would sign them, so I said I'd grab them. Um, okay, well, there's 14 right there. Yeah, these need some boards in them, definitely. Avengers 257. First, um, gee, I'm drawing blank now. Nebulous. Thought that was a buck. Captain America 290. First appearance of Red Skull's Daughter Sin. Pick that up for a buck. Peter Parker had mentioned this uh, storyline of this is uh, Heroes Might, uh, the Earth's Mightiest Heroes Avengers number 19. And I have picked up all the issues, but I never could find 19 I was dissatisfied with. But now I've got it, and I'm ready to read it, and it really does look like an interesting storyline. So thank you, Peter Parker, for mentioning this storyline. I appreciate it. Uh, preacher number 13 picked this up for a couple of bucks at the con. First uh, appearance of one of the major Preacher villains. Looking forward to uh, reading those as well. All right. Continuing on here. Here's some uh, more books I got out of at the Dallas Con. In a in the fifty cent boxes, um, guy had uh, some Deathstroke, the Terminator number fifteen, and uh, this is the first appearance of Deathstroke's daughter, who later becomes the Ravager. And he had several copies of it, so I figured this would be a good trade or or just to sell later on to buy more comic books. So uh, fifty cents a piece, I picked up one, two, three, four. I picked up five copies. And then in another seller of 50 cent boxes, he had uh, the Jews contract. Um, they were bagged, they were double bagged, and so I just bought them the way they were. I was really stoked to find a um, number 44, first Nightwing. And the back of it was number 43. Uh, there was 41 and 42. So those were 50 cents a piece. That was cool. He also had some Dread Stars there. I picked up one copy of the Annual since I already, I already have one. This basically reprints the graphic novel The Price. If you haven't got The Price, check it out. It's pretty cool. And then he had several Dread Star number ones. I grabbed, sorry, I grabbed three copies, and there was still plenty more there to grab. So that book, while it may be rising a little bit in price, it, it's, not, it's not terribly hard to find. 
All right, let's talk about a few other books I picked up here. Sandman, number eight. Um, I have a run of these already, but I found this one at a really good price, so I couldn't turn it down, so got me another copy of Sandman, number eight. Um, one of the local shops that I went to called Awesome Comics. I almost couldn't find them in the D.C. area, and I keep on calling the D.C. area, in the Dallas area. And um, their comic was like in a corner of the building. So when you look straight at the building, it said florist shop. So as I drove by and I, I looked back, then I saw their sign in the corner called Awesome Books. So very hard to find. The really cool guys, they gave us a discount because we um, came from the con. I actually got a couple other books I meant to show, but I'll save those for later from Awesome Comics. Picked up a 24 for 50 cents, and I picked up two copies of 23. My good buddy James, who uh, I'll talk to you in here in a minute about some other books that I got from him, I slid him the other co uh, other copy. You usually do that when we're out running around, and if we can find doubles, you know, we're not, you know, we'll, we'll slide it over to our, our, our friend. Um, another shop, uh, Titan Comics, I picked up uh, the Avengers uh, 181. This is the first appearance of Scott Lang. It's kind of a little bit of a lame appearance, but he's, he's back there tootling around, working on some uh, machinery, I think air conditioning or something, I don't remember. Um, but it is his first appearance. Uh, this copy, it's, uh, eh, it's a VG copy, but uh, it's a couple bucks, so, you know. Uh, double issue of Why the Last Man 1 and 2. The significance of this book is that 1 and 2 are so hard to find that this book is now becoming hard to find, and um, it was a couple bucks, and I kind of wanted it to go along with my run of Why the Last Man, so I thought, why not? All right, uh, a couple of books I'm really stoked to have finally gotten a hold of that I would like to share with you guys is Conan 23 and 24. This is the first cameo and first full appearance of Red Sonja. These books are in really nice condition. I picked these up from my buddy James. He gave me a really good deal on them, so thank you, James. I appreciate it. And I'm really stoked about having those books. And then another one that I'm really stoked about is Conan the Barbarian, number one. Just a brilliantly beautiful copy. I actually got this at a um, flea market. The guy was kind of liquidating some stuff from a gentleman who passed away, which is sad. But nevertheless, I got a number one. I wish, yeah, he had like one through ten. I wish I could have gotten all of them. Um, but I am very much satisfied with this number one. It's a beautiful copy. He wanted $125 for it, which is a steal at that price because it's such a nice copy. It is, but uh, I, I talked him down to 85 <clears throat> and I bought a couple of other books from him. Um, so I think I spent $95, $100 with him, but uh, well worth it. Really happy to have this book. All right. Um, another couple of books I'd like to talk about is a little mini series that a friend of mine mentioned called high adventure amazing high adventure actually um just beautiful art a lot of great artists in this and interior and story are awesome uh, you can pick it up really cheap i've run across them like an issue here an issue there never would pick them up but while i was at the dallas con i went ahead and found all of them for a buck a piece so i went ahead and picked them up so there's number one number two Number three, I really love this cover. Number four. And number five. And there is only five issues. There's not a six issue. All right, I want to talk uh, about, about some books that I got signed at the Dallas Con, and then I'll up some books signed uh, while I was at the Planet Comic Con in Kansas City. All right, I picked up, um, had Moon Knight signed by Finch, right down here towards the bottom. He signed it. And what was really cool is Scott Platt was there as well. So I had him sign his run of Moon Knight. He was really cool to talk to. Um, he just got, he's, he's, he works in the movies now. So he doesn't do a lot of comic art anymore. And he just got through doing some work on Godzilla, which I'm looking forward to go checking out. Um, if anybody's seen Godzilla, let me know what you thought. I'm personally looking forward to it. I still haven't seen Spider-Man and X-Men's out now. I, I got a lot of movies to catch up on. Hopefully I can do that this Memorial Weekend. Hopefully uh, you guys can as well if you haven't caught any of the movies. Uh, there's 56, 57, 58, 59. Man, he just, he just amazes me. And 60. Great work. All right. Uh, Campbell was there as well at the Dallas Con. 
And I picked up, um, didn't pick up, it had Gen 13 number 12 signed, uh, just basically a hottie cover, which he does so well. Batman Danger Girl, it's kind of hard to see, but he signed it right in here. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 607, he's signed there, there at the bottom. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 606. Uh, another 607, not signed, I don't know why that's in there, sorry guys. Uh, Batman Detective 880, um, I had signed by Scott Snyder when I was at Planet Comic Con. Uh, this is my favorite cover, probably, it's one of my favorite covers of all time. Signed it down there at the bottom. If I could just get Jock to sign this someday, it would be complete. I mean, Jock knocked it out of the park when he did this cover. Uh, it's amazing. Um, had Scott sign 871 of Detective. Had him sign Batman number one of the new 52. And I had him sign number 13. The last time I was down there and Scott was there, I didn't take my Batman. Instead, I took uh, what to me was is one of my favorite stories. This is American Vampire stuff. Had him sign that. Um, this time I also took up my Severed Books, which is a wonderful story. If you haven't read this, the art in it is beautiful and the story is great. I highly recommend it. Um, so I had him sign all of those. Number one. There's number two. And number three. Number four. Number five. And six. And uh, number seven. Yeah, check those books out if you haven't. Uh, if you're into the horror type genre, or if this this even has elements, it's it's, uh, it's set back in sort of a um, oh, what time period is this? Um, I want to say 1800s is a little too early, but uh, earlier America, um, just really really great. Uh, it's about this kid. And he's traveling, and this guy picks him up, and um, I, I don't want to give too much of it away, but the guy is basically sort of some sort of monster you find out as you read it. Uh, just really entertaining, worth reading. I think they're going to continue with the story later, but I uh, haven't seen it just yet. Looking forward to it. All right, while well, I was there, I also had Bernie sign some books for me. Bernie Wrightson uh, hauled this big, massive thing up there. A Look Back by Bernie Wrightson. It's an art book of his. It's kind of getting hard to find, kind of pricey. But, man, if you can find it, and it's at a de any decent price, it's really worth it. It is a thing of beauty. Yeah, go ahead and pick it up. I had him sign, also Bernie Wrightson sign, House of Mystery, the novel, number one. They actually did two copies. Uh, they did two two novels, number one and number two. And uh, some both the stories are by Jack Olick. And with each story, Bernie would do a, uh, a picture. And he actually, in this one, number, in this number one, he kind of does sort of a hottie cover, uh, which is very unlikely, very unlike uh, Bernie. Um, so if you can find these, they're kind of hard to find, kind of expensive. This is not the best copy of one. You can see it's definitely got a problem here on the side, but I only paid a couple bucks for it, so I'm happy with that. And I think it's just a really cool oddity. Bernie was kind of surprised to see it as well. Uh, he said he hadn't seen those in a long time. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um... Recently, people have been talking about the New Mutants graphic novel number four. So, I came across a retailer online at Amazon who had uh, first prints and just near mint copies. Uh, wanted a dollar fifty for them, or two dollars, somewhere around there. Very little, so I picked both of those up from him. So, really appreciative of that. All right, I know this video is getting long, but I'll go ahead and show a few more books that I actually picked up tonight. Or at the time that I'm recording this video, I guess it's yesterday evening. Now these I picked up at a BOGO sale. BOGO, for those that just don't, may not know, is uh, buy one, get one. So you buy one at whatever price it is, you can get one of equal or lesser value for free. So I uh, picked up uh, Walking Dead uh, 12 for 50 cents. Um, this was, it's not the best copy. It's actually, it's, it's pretty decent. It does have a lot of spine ticks along the side, but it's an early Walking Dead. Um, so for 50 cents, yeah, I would pick that up, definitely. Um, Giant Size Defenders, number two. This was uh, basically wound up being two bucks because it was a buy one, get one. Uh, Submariner, number 56. Uh, Brave and the Bold, 
number um, 124, really cool cover. Uh, it kind of cracks me up here. He's telling Apero to finish up this uh, cover, and it's just cool showing him drawing the cover. And uh, Apero's a great artist. Uh, Brave and the Bold, 135. X-Men, number 54. This one was 10 bucks, but then I picked up another book that was a little bit cheaper, $7.99. It's Detective Comics, number 321. So basically, they were 5 bucks a piece, so... Not the best copies, but an X Men 54 for five bucks and a Detective Comics 321 for five bucks, and probably about VG condition. Maybe even a little bit better. I mean, they're not bad. Um, well worth it. Um, continuing on, though, uh, Detective Comics uh, 366 and 372. They're 499, but uh, with the buy one get one, it turned out to be 250 a piece for some early detectives. I love this cover. Some more Submariner. Uh, special number two. A little bit faded. <clears throat> but still a great cover. I'm not a big Submariner fan. But um, I can't deny that the covers on Submariner are just beautiful. They're just amazing. And I'll, and I'll eventually give these a read. And maybe I like the stories. I don't know. Uh, Submariner number 42. Again, another beautiful, beautiful copy. Cover. It's beautiful. Defenders number 11. These early Defenders... With them um, out in the wild, they're getting really hard to find because they cross over with the Avengers. So if you can find these at a pretty decent price, go ahead and pick them up. Uh, they're a pretty good story as well. Batman 249. Avengers 113. Another Submariner 46. I don't know if this is the first appearance of Stingray. Um, I haven't looked it up yet. Um, if it is, let me know. If it's not, let me know. I appreciate it. Uh, Teen Titans 49. Early Harlequin appearance. Submariner number 51. Let me go back to that. I say Harlequin. The Joker's daughter, basically, was called the Harlequin back then. Um, so, yeah. I kind of just spelled that out a little better. Uh, Submariner 51. Uh, beautiful, beautiful cover. Can't deny the covers on Submariner. Creatures on Loose. I know I already have these, but I just keep picking them up because I love the covers. 16 and 19. Jeez. Beautiful covers. But, uh, yeah, that, that's it. Uh, hey, I really appreciate it. You guys have a great Memorial Weekend. Um, if you're out and about, uh, be safe. And uh, hope to get some more videos out to you. I have some uh, Batmans that I picked up for a quarter a piece. Uh, newer ones, but, I mean, when I was able to pick up a ton of them for a quarter a piece. I want to talk about that. Uh, some amazing Spider-Man runs that I picked up. A nice haul on those um, that are really killer. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so I hope to get some more videos out to you guys. Again, I really appreciate it. Leave a comment. Let me know um, if you like the video or you know what I can do better for you guys. Um, I really appreciate it. Again, um, collect what you love, like Kippy says, and um, keep on uh, hunting for the books, man. Take care.